Let's take a quick look at some of the new features in Presenter 10. The first thing you'll need to do is uninstall any previous versions of Presenter that you might have installed. After you have it installed, when you click on the Presenter tab, you won't notice a lot of differences in the menu or the ribbon here. The biggest difference you're going to notice is when you publish. Before when you published your presentation, the only format that was available was an SWF format. This format did not play on iPads, iPods, or other devices like that. You now have the option of including HTML5, which will play on all devices nicely. Just to make sure I would select both, the presentation will recognize the device and play it properly. I'm going to publish directly to the Connect server. and you'll be prompted to log in with your LDAP credentials. Select your folder, or even create a new folder, and publish. Your presentation will now be available and able to play on iPads and other tablets as well as computers. There are a few things you'll want to keep in mind though. Make sure if you're going to add audio or video that you do it from the Presenter tab. Any narration should be done here under the Presenter tab. Adding SWF or video files should also be done under the Presenter tab. A couple things to note with the iPad. The presentation is best viewed in the vertical mode. If you rotate to landscape, part of the screen will not display. Clicking on the bulleted list below will give you a thumbnail view, which you can use for navigation, or you can use the play bar for navigation. Clicking on the eye in the upper right hand corner will bring down the presenter information. If notes have been added to the presentation, clicking on the blank notes page, the notes will display down below. Other ways to navigate include swiping the screen with your finger to move from slide to slide, or clicking on the small arrow at the bottom brings up a thumbnail view for other navigation options. The presenter interactions and quizzing usually work as expected. However, if there are problems, try refreshing your screen.